Hi loves, welcome back to another speed painting video. Today's painting is part of a series of pig and flower paintings that I'll be doing and hopefully turning into a zine by the time I'm done. For this first one I wanted to have the pig be surrounded by pomegranate flowers. They're a really beautiful flower and I let that be the main influence over my colour choices for this one, which worked out really well. I'm using a few different brands of gouache paints that I had to hand, uh, everything will as always be linked in the description, but I'm mainly going for variations on this magenta and a kind of chalky green. A lot of planning and preparation went into this one, a lot more than I would usually do. I had a real vision in mind, not just for the painting, but for the eventual collection of paintings, so I wanted to execute them to the best standard that I could. I've done a lot of studies of plants, of pigs, and experiments with different colour combos, as well as different media. I've been trying to find something to be able to line over my gouache paintings with, ideally a coloured pencil that was vibrant and opaque, even over dark colours, and after a lot of trial and error with different pencils and pastels as well, I invested in this set of Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. They're quite pricey, but do just what I want them to do, and their main selling point is their unmatched light fastedness, which means that the colours won't fade so much over time. They really did the job anyway and I'm so happy with how it all turned out. I'm super pleased with the painting and really excited to continue on with this project. Can't wait to paint more pigs. Um, I don't really have a set deadline in mind for getting all of the paintings done and I'm not sure if I'll film them all, especially with Inktober coming up, I want that to be my main focus for next month, but it's great to have something to work on and use as a fun way to learn more about colour and flowers and train myself to put in the extra prep work to come out with a finished piece that I'm confident and happy with. This painting is now up for sale in my shop, I will have that linked below as well as prints of it as well. And that's all I've got to say for today, so I will leave you to enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you're all having a fab week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.